Okay. Yes. Hi, class. Welcome back from spring break. Um, I'm sending you a quick video to welcome you back to school, but also I wanted us to get on the same page on um, what you can expect um, from here to the end of the semester. So officially we are on week 10. Um, and you know, during spring break, you didn't have any assignments, of course. I did upload um, a little um, video of um, one of the authors that you're going to be reading about or one of her, you're gonna be reading her novel. Um, an interview, uh, interview um, that she gave and she discusses her novel. So I thought it might be, if that's the novel you chose to um, use for this class, I thought it might give you some context and also something to write about. So at this point in the semester, um, you should already decide which book you want to do for your final paper. And you have two options. If you have any questions about you know, what the ISBN is, you can easily just go to the syllabus. So let me share screen just so that um, you know where to find the information. Give me one second. All right, so if you go to syllabus, you click on the link. It takes us to, or it takes you to our English 102 syllabus. If you scroll down under materials, you'll see that you need one of these two tech of uh, these two novels. So your first option is um, Zula, and this is a novel written by Toni Morrison, and there is the um, ISBN if you need help finding it. And then the second novel is Dreaming in Cuban. This is a novel written by Cristina Garcia. And if you need the ISBN, um, the ISBN is there. You only need one of the two books, okay? You don't have to read both. Although if you're an English major or if you just you know, <laughs> like reading, um, these are two really short novels. They're not very long and they're both very entertaining. So I would say that, um, you know, if you want to read both novels, please go ahead. It might give you a little bit more substance and, and more to write about for your final paper. So let me um, go back to our class page. Let me get out of share screen just to make sure we're on the right. Here we go. So once we go down to modules, you'll see that for this upcoming week, you are on week 10. And really what you should be doing is, um, you know, reading the different types of theoretical frameworks. So you have new criticism, which you'll see um, that as you're reading the novel, it might be natural for you to kind of go into um, using a lens of new criticism, but there's also post-colonial theory. And post-colonial theory and Marxist theory fit really, really well. These two critical lenses fit really, really well with both of these texts. So that's why I made sure to put them or incorporate um, the, these um, theories um, during the time that you would be reading and writing about the novel. There's also a reading on the oppositional gaze, which I'm going to make a, a separate lecture video on the oppositional gaze, just because um, I think it'll be easier if I separate this update that I'm sending you and an actual lecture on this reading. And hopefully I'll have it done for you at some point this week, but that's the reading you have. And then you have the discussion on the gays and Dreaming in Cuban. If you are not reading, if you did not select Dreaming in Cuban, then you don't have to do this discussion. You'll have a different discussion if you're using Zula instead. It'll probably be um, for week 11. So again, by now, you should um, have selected which novel you're going to be using for your final paper. Your final paper for this class is based on one of those two novels. You get to pick and choose. Um, I did upload a lecture video explaining um, the, uh, the final paper. And um, I'm going to upload that for you where I actually cover the prompt of the final paper. So I'll be uploading that as well. But I just want to make sure if you're if you're like me, um, sometimes reading can be a little bit challenging for me because I get very I get easily distracted. So I might be 35 pages into a book and then, you know, I get distracted by something and then I forget what I just read. Um, so what I would do if I were you is I would start now, especially if you're a reader that likes to take your time or that needs the time to absorb, I would I would start reading the book now. Um, Let's see what else. 
I did get to speak to some of you before spring break and I got some messages during the break, but I haven't, um, I've actually tried to um, disconnect from work and, you know, just kind of get some rest and spend some time on my own during this break. So I will be getting back to your messages. If you messaged me during spring break, I will be, I will be getting back to you this week. And um, I did get to speak to some of you before our break and, um, you know, thank you for making it to the call. For those of you that, you know, we weren't able to connect, um, you know, I'm still here. <laughs> if you wanna talk to me, um, we could still go over whatever concerns you have. Uh, I believe that SA1 already closed. Um, I think I gave you like a two week extension from when I came back. So um, SA1 has already closed. I should be grading your midterm this week as well. If you have any questions about how I'm grading the midterm, um, go ahead, you can, Open up the midterm. Um, trying to find the uh, the rubric. Oh, show rubric. Ooh, I'm going blind. <laughs> okay, so here's the rubric for your midterm, and it explains, you know, what constitutes, um, uh, you know, a C, a B, and an A and a D. So essentially, if as long as you met the minimum requirements of the assignment, meaning you filed, you, you, you followed the, you answered the question, you followed the appropriate format, you used all of the sources, that's an automatic C if you look at the, at, if you look at the, at the rubric. Um, so if you did all of those things, I just want you to take a deep breath, it's going to be okay. Um, and again, I know some of you messaged me about extra credit. Before I give you extra credit, you know, I think it's it's more useful to do rewrites because I think I just think it's better to improve on something that you've already been working on rather than start something brand new. And, you know, with the pandemic and everything that's going on, um, I know I can't take more work right now, and I'm pretty sure you can't take more work right now. So if you are concerned about your grade at this point in the semester, just make it to office hours. If you're curious of when those office hours or when I'm available, if you go again to the syllabus and you scroll down to student hours or office hours, the times that I'm available to log on um, are right there. We would do office hours over Zoom, or if that doesn't work for you, we could always um, uh, make an appointment. Now, if we make an appointment outside of the traditional office hours, if for any reason you're not going to be able to make um, our appointment, you know, I would appreciate it if you just send me a quick notification that, you know, there was a change of plans or, um, you know, you're not going to be able to make it because I could be giving that time to some another student or, you know, it just so that I'm not on here waiting for you to log on. So, um, again, if you um, have any questions and if you're concerned about where you're you're standing in the class or even if you just want to troubleshoot um, your final paper with me. I'm available to do that with you. So if you haven't started reading your um, your novel for this class, again, you have two choices. You have Zula by Toni Morrison. I included the ISBN for you on the syllabus. And you have um, Dreaming in Cuban by Christina Garcia. And the ISBN for that is also on the syllabus. You only have to pick one out of the two. So I hope you all had a great spring break and that you were able to get some rest or at least find some respite. And um, hopefully I will be seeing you for office hours this week. All right, bye.